Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. Got a story out of the hedge I wanna share it with you. And this is scary stuff. I think um, no matter where this happens in the world, we need to think about it in terms of can it happen to us, wherever you are in the world? And I believe the answer to that question is yes, it can. And the reason why I believe it is yes is because as governments around the world add to the tyranny that they already are diving into, taking our land, taking our resources, and taxing the snot out of us, what happens is other governments watch what they get away with and they go, all right, here we go, let's try it ourselves. So here we go. Dutch government attempts to forcibly close, <coughs> excuse me, 3,000 farms to comply with the green agenda. Dutch farmers protesting for months over the government's radical green plan to slash nitrogen emissions by 50%, between 50% and 95%, could soon force or face forced buyouts of their land. For agricultural entrepreneurs, there will be a stopping scheme that will be as attractive as possible, Christine van der Waal, nitrogen minister, just recently said in the Dutch parliament. The Dutch government plans to purchase 3,000 peak polluters uh, farms via uh, 24 billion euro uh, fund. Vanderwall said farmers would be offered 100% value for their land, but if it voluntarily, if if voluntary efforts fail, farmers will face forced buyouts. So that's the first shot across the bow. The government saying, "Hey, we're going to pay you full going rate," and honestly. That is probably one of the stupidest, you know, phrases ever because they're the ones, the government agencies that determine the valuation. Even if they say it's an independent third party, I can guarantee you something in my, in my bones tells me that there's a scheme to where they can save money somehow and they're going to do it and they are not going to be paying you full value. But then they're telling you that shot across the bow is if, this, if you don't give it up, if you don't just give it up willingly, we're going to come and take it. All right, this should be very scary to farmers across the world right now, because I'm not kidding, no matter how safe you think you are, our government and other governments are watching to see if they get away with this. It says the country is attempting to reduce nitrogen pollution and will make farm purchases if not enough landowners accept the buyout, she says. There is no better offer coming. So how did this happen? As we explained over the summer, farmers were livid with the Dutch government for following through with their green agenda to reduce nitrogen emissions on farms. Many of these folks took to the streets with their tractors and pitchforks and demanded the government reverse course on crushing the country's agriculture industry. I wanna say something right now, boy, wouldn't this be awesome if this got to some politicians in the Dutch government. You are pawns, you are silly, silly little pawns. I want you to understand that. You think you're getting something over because you're getting some kind of buyout from some other governmental agency or body that runs all these countries like the EU. Everyone, I want you to think about how powerful these guys have gotten, that we've allowed this to happen around the world. And then they do things like this. And the Dutch uh, ministers that think they're so powerful, they could pull this off. You are nothing but a pawn. They put you out there in front of the world to see if you can get away with it. My heart absolutely goes out to the Dutch people that are dealing with this. But I'm not kidding. As we see more and more tyrannical acts by governments around the world, we have to start thinking that this could happen in our own country. It says the Dutch government began implementing new rules on nitrogen activity on farmers and farm buildings as early as 2019. They halted the expansion of dairy, pig, and poultry operations for the last several years, which are significant sources of nitrogen pollution. One dark Dutch farmer spoke with Fox and Friends weekend to discuss the pressure from the government and their move to close down thousands of farms. This is what he said. I don't know what we can expect. For my own family, I hope that one of my sons can continue farming if he wants. The Netherlands is trying to reduce emissions and follow through with the green agenda, but it could jeopardize the nation's food supply and put the world's uh, food supply at risk. Recent data shows the country, which is the size of Maryland, is the world's second largest exporter of agriculture products by value behind the United States. So we're not talking just small countries that are contributing just a little bit to the world's food supply. We're talking big food suppliers that are going to be affected by this. And I think it is very, very vital for us to understand that this can happen in our own country. 
I want to leave you with that because I think, honestly, this is a very serious story and that we need to become more and more aware of this kind of stuff. And the truth is we need to push this, these stories out to the, to the world as much as we can. Share videos like this that share these warnings so that people will become prepared. They will become more stable. And one way I want you to understand that governments can destabilize you personally is by taking down an economy. And then they're the savior. They're, they want to be the one, the, the buyer of last resort, whether it be a federal government or a central bank. They're all the exact same type of evil. And I want people to understand that. So that's why it is vital right now that you are getting out of debt, that you are getting prepared because they do have a collapse waiting. And it's not for them, it's for you. So they could buy your assets. All right, guys, that being said, I thank you so much for watching. The Economic Ninja is out.